The Philippines will buy 32 new Black Hawk helicopters for more than $620 million, the Defense Secretary said Sunday, in the nation's latest big-ticket purchase to upgrade its aging military capability. For the past decade, Manila has been trying to modernize its rundown military equipment featuring Vietnam War era helicopters and World War II naval vessels used by the United States. The first of the 32 S-70I Black Hawks from a Polish firm owned by U.S. defense manufacturer Lockheed Martin will begin to arrive next year, Defense Secretary Delvin Lorenzana. The aircraft were needed for humanitarian assistance and disaster response, he said. The lack of transport planes and helicopters have never been more acute during the pandemic and in the aftermath of Typhoon Odette. Lorenzana said, using the local name of Typhoon Rai, which left more than 400 people dead and caused widespread devastation when it hit the country in December. This was exacerbated by our aging Hueys that have become uneconomical to maintain. The government last year completed an order of 16 S-70I Black Hawks to replace the Air Force's fleet of Bell A1H helicopters, commonly known as the Huey, after fatal accidents. Many of them were acquired as surplus from the United States, Manila's longtime military ally. The entire Black Hawk fleet was grounded in June after an S-70I helicopter crashed during a nighttime training flight, killing all six on board. An investigation found it inadvertently entered a thunderstorm and the pilot suffered spatial disorientation or vertigo. As well as long-running insurgencies by communist and Islamist fighters, the Philippines faces growing Chinese aggression in the South China Sea. Lorenzana announced Friday the Philippines would buy an anti-ship missile system from India for nearly $375 million that would boost its defense capability. That came weeks after the country ordered two new warships from South Korea's Hyundai Heavy Industries in a $556 million deal. The Philippines is buying 32 S-70I Black Hawk helicopters from Poland-based Sikorsky aircraft subsidiary PZL Milik to beef up its existing fleet of 12, the country's defense chief said on Sunday, January 16 as it seeks to boost its disaster response capabilities. Defense Secretary Delvin Lorenzana said a notice of award was issued on December 28 for the purchase of brand new helicopters under a project that comes with logistics support and a training package for pilots and maintenance crew at a cost of 32 billion pesos, S$840 million. The contract was now being drafted, with the delivery of the first five units expected in 2023, Mr. Lorenzana said on Facebook. The remaining ones will be delivered in three batches, 10 units in 2024, 10 units in 2025, and 7 units in 2026, he added. The lack of transport planes and helicopters has never been more acute during the pandemic and in the aftermath of Typhoon, Hurai, Mr. Lorenzana said. This was exacerbated by our aging Hueys that have become uneconomical to maintain. Hurai, last year's 15th and deadliest typhoon to hit the Philippines left more than 400 people dead and caused widespread damage in the central and southern regions of the country in December. The Philippines is buying 32 S-70I Black Hawk helicopters from Poland-based Sikorsky aircraft subsidiary PZL Milik to beef up its existing fleet of 12, the country's defense chief said on Sunday, as it seeks to boost its disaster response capabilities. Defense Secretary Delvin Lorenzana said a notice of award was issued on December 28 for the purchase of brand new helicopters under a project that comes with logistics support and a training package for pilots and maintenance crew at a cost of 32 billion pesos, $624 million. The contract was now being drafted, with the delivery of the first five units expected in 2023, Lorenzana said on Facebook. The remaining ones will be delivered in three batches, 10 units in 2024. 10 units in 2025, and 7 units in 2026, he said. The lack of transport planes and helicopters have never been more acute during the pandemic and in the aftermath of Typhoon, Rai, Lorenzana said. This was exacerbated by our aging Hueys that have become uneconomical to maintain. Rai, last year's 15th and deadliest typhoon to hit the Philippines, left more than 400 people dead and caused widespread damage in central and southern regions of the country in December. The United Nations Office of the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs on Sunday said in a statement that hundreds of thousands of people still needed food and clean water, shelter, and protection support, one month after the world's second deadliest disaster of 2021 hit the Philippines.